Hello everyone, this is Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I'm over at this beautiful new listing in Sun City Summerlin, located at 10553 Shoalhaven Drive. And look at this beautiful landscaping this home has. Recently painted exterior, recently painted interior as well. But I like the elevation of this front yard. This home is called the Aristocrat Model and it's at 2819 square feet with three bedrooms. All have oversized walk-in closets, two and a half baths, and a three-car garage. The lot size is a little over 8200, which is nice. This home was built in 1997, so it was part of the last phase of Sun City Summerlin. If you know anything about Sun City Summerlin, it took from 1999, or sorry, from 1989 to 1999, took 10 years to build and built in three phases. So this is part of the third phase. This is on the Highland Falls golf course at the 15th hole. Can't wait to show you the beautiful views. Lots and lots of upgrades done to this house. So as you walk in, it has the nice commercial grade luxury vinyl with the nine inch wide planks, greeted by tray ceiling. On one side you have the dining room and on the other side you have a little den area. And the ceilings feel about 12 feet tall. They feel pretty tall. Lots of recessed lighting throughout this house. Ceiling fans throughout this house, as well as shutters. So we're gonna go to the main area, which is the family room with two picture windows. Now the windows in the back have an electric uh, shade. That way you can enjoy the beautiful golf course views and this beautifully updated kitchen that has the nice quartz countertops, the wide, island with the cabinetry underneath. Lots of new cabinets, all soft close, double ovens by LG. Oh, another nice feature a lot of people like having is these beautiful pullouts, right? Now the HOA for Sun City Summerlin is only $173 a month, which is pretty reasonable considering all the amenities this community has. I have done numerous videos on Sun City Summerlin, and my most recent one has all the amenities. There's four clubhouses, three golf courses, five pools, two of our, which are indoors, gyms, you name it, they have it all. This kitchen is beautiful, and I like that they went with all drawers instead of cabinets. And again, it's all soft clothes. Very nice feature. Then you have the five burner range by Samsung with the range hood and I like how they did the quartz as a backsplash and then they did an uh, added custom tile as well and also the lighting underneath the cabinets is very nice. Then you have this large single basin stainless steel sink. Lots of nice cabinets and a Bosch dishwasher. I like the pantry. Then the extension of the kitchen. Now, if you want, this is the kitchen nook. You can put a nice little round table and enjoy the beautiful golf course views. The nice LG refrigerator and they extended the cabinets all the way to the end, which is a nice feature to have. Since we're here, let's check it out outside. Um, I have a list of renovations. It was professionally landscaped front and back in 2023, which they have the nice pavers in a beautiful pattern. The long covered patio with two ceiling fans. And then these shades rolled down. This house is facing, let's see, a north front with a south backyard. Let's just do a quick pan. 
and look at the mountain views. My favorite mountain in Sun City. I like the black metal fencing for privacy, but you still have the nice golf course views. Again, this is the 15th hole at Highland Falls. They have the sunscreens in the back and this extra patio extended with nice desert landscaping. And this is a fully fenced in backyard, which is also nice to have. A lot of homes in Sun City are not fenced in. And the reason you want to have the view fencing is obviously because of the views. There are peekaboo strip views when you stand right here in this pad. I don't think you can see it right now, but it's right up there. And there is the golf cart uh, path right there. This is turf, easy to maintain, landscaping. Love all the cactus, cacti, I should say. A little planter right there. And then the side yard. New water he heater was installed in 2022. The interior was remodeled by the homeowners in 2020. They added some extra skylights and also a new underlayment for the roof. So the roof is in great condition. The new AC was in 2024 this year with a new heater, dual zones. And I like that they did this little pad right there for the trash cans. Let's see. Let's go in, back in. I like these pavers actually. These are very nice pavers. I'm remodeling my backyard. Get some design ideas from them. <laughs> and this also leads to one of the bedrooms right there. Now these kitchen cabinets are 42 inches long which is pretty tall. And then you also have the skylight right there, which is a nice feature. Everything in this house has been remodeled. So now we're gonna take a right over here and there's two bedrooms, all great size bedrooms with that door access to the backyard as well as a large walk-in closet. You have a little hall closet right here. And then this is a nice feature with the barn door, the frosted glass, instead of doing a traditional door. And this is a fully remodeled bathroom with granite countertops, the same white shaker cabinets. This is the large, the LED mirror right there, extra recessed lighting, and no tub, just a shower with looks like marble. Large tile format, very nice feature. And then here's the other bedroom, bedroom number three, with again, another large walk-in closet. And as you can see, these bedrooms are pretty good. Let me see what sizes they are. This is 12 by 20, I do believe, or the other one, and one's 12 by 16. So as you can see, very nice with the beautiful shutters in front of the house. And you still get peekaboo mountain views over here from one of the bedrooms. So this is another hall closet. This is for your coats. Then they have the updated half bath right in here. Decent size with the granite countertops, the same shaker cabinets, everything matches, cohesive and the LED lighting. 
And this one has the tray ceiling up above. Then you have the primary bedroom with the double doors and also the skylight right here. And this is why I love Sun City Summerlin Homes. Even though this house was built in 1998, the ceilings are so high compared to the 90s homes, right? A lot of 90s homes were only eight foot ceilings, maybe nine foot, but this looks like 12 feet with the nice tray ceiling. The ceiling fan again in every room, shutters, the wide shutters, and also the gas fireplace, which is a nice feature to have. And again, from the primary, you have views of the golf course. I like these shutters. I like it that they don't have the bar right here and you can open and close and it's split. It's a great feature to have. And then this is a nice area if you want to add a TV here as well. Here's the upgraded primary bathroom with the double vanity, lots of storage. The LED lights again, all recessed lighting throughout. And they expanded the toilet room, added these shelves, as well as the nice tub with, this is granite, beautiful granite. It's all matching, deep soaker tub. with the either marble or porcelain tile that looks like marble, called cut of marble. And it looks like it's the same touches as the other guest bathroom, like that shower head with the spray, the little bench, and the niche areas. And this is beautiful too. And look how long this primary closet is. The sellers added the extra shelving for storage. It has those little bubble lights or whatever, or not lights, windows. Just a very large organized closet. And then they also added this little seating feature right here. All appliances do stay, including the refrigerator and washer and dryer. Now look at this laundry room. This is a very large laundry room. They made room for a second refrigerator. Look at all these cabinets. And of course, a nice deep sink to wash some of your clothes and the washer and dryer. It's always a nice feature to have the sink in the laundry room. Again, soft close cabinets. And if you know anything about Sun City, sometimes some of the homes we put the laundry on the outside. I like how big this laundry room is. Then you have the three car garage, but technically it's probably a two car with the golf court cart storage. Still long enough so you could put a truck and it has like this little ledge for storage, water softener system as well as the new HVAC units for heating and air conditioning. Look how nice and clean that is. And the newer water heater as mentioned before. And if you want a golf cart, they're selling it. Very nice. Okay, let's go back in the backyard and enjoy those views. So to summarize, we're over here in Sun City, Summerlin, a 55 plus active adult retirement community um, located just right off of the 215 and Lake Mead Boulevard. This home is, the floor plan is called Aristocat and has 2819 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two car, three car garage with a lot size over 8,200 square feet. And I guess you wanna know what we're gonna list this for, right? This is listed with my brokerage, Home Realty Center, Michael Del Gase, my broker has this listing and they have it listed at 1,449,900. If you want more information, please click on the link below or you can always call me at 702 
270-5112. I sell a lot of homes in Sun City Summerlin. You can always check out all the information about this community on my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com. And let me know what you think of this home. Any comments, questions, reach out to me if you want to see this home as well, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm casual today. I'll see you guys on the next one.